What up boys and welcome back to another video. So in this video we have another episode of my mini series on why you should farm X dungeon, right? And you guys really liked the previous one so uh, here we go with another one and one of my all time favorite dungeons RFD. And I know I said it in the previous videos, I know that I've featured these farms before but still when I do them every single time there's a bunch of people asking me where am I at? Why I'm farming it? What could I possibly get? What is the best item? And so on and so on. So that's why I decided to make this uh, make this mini series because I've gained a lot of new uh, new viewers since I featured these the last time. So if you already know, like obviously it says what farmer is in the title. Uh, you don't have to click it if you know what it's all about. But before we dive into the video, I want to mention that uh, this is uh, once again sponsored by myself and the zero to 10 million gold guides if you haven't bought it yet then don't worry 50 percent off click the link down below in the description or comment section and make sure you enter the code shadowlands for 50 percent off so normally when i do these uh, farms i've already recorded the route and i just show it while i talk uh rfd i know it like the uh my, my own pocket dude it's a uh, great dungeon absolutely love it so i'm just gonna run through the dungeons i think it's easier that way because there's some points like some spawn points for chests and so on that i want to show you guys and for instance like these spiders you want to knock him down because rfd it's a fast dungeon to run through and you want to make sure that you kill every single mob uh, that you can obviously so the first chest spawn point is uh right here in this room it can spawn, it doesn't have to spawn, but the cool thing about RFD is that it's swimming with chests. There are so many chests in the dungeon. So I would recommend you to uh, bring either a rogue or a tune with like engineering, inscription, blacksmithing, any profession that allows you to open up chests is, uh, is what you want to bring because the chests can be locked. So you always play when you click this gong thing and it's going to spawn the big spider boss and you have to kill him... Uh, to get to continue in the dungeon and then there's going to be two spawn mobs right here boom get those down and i love this place this room there's a lot of uh a good density between the the uh the packs of mobs and then also there's uh usually double chest inside this room of course when i said that there's not a single chest but uh trust me this place either has one or two chest spawns so always make sure that you check that location uh typical my lockdown okay so then we're gonna go we're gonna kill the skeleton boss some people i've seen some people skip it because these shitty skeletons they don't have anything under loot table they suck however i've received a lot of good items from this boss so i always make sure that i kill this boss every single time and then we just continue the beauty of RFD, you can't do anything wrong because you you can't do any alternative routes. You just have to follow the dungeon and how it's meant to be done. It's pretty straightforward. So once again, we make sure that we kill every single uh, every single uh, mob, and we're soon gonna arrive to uh, more of the chest spawn location. So I'm guessing that I'm gonna get some uh, sweet chests right here because you're always guaranteed. I think it's like two chests in the uh, in the dungeon at least so just kill it all and then uh, by the way it doesn't matter normally i would do this on my druid because druid is my fastest class now i'm doing it on the speed war because i have a, a challenge going on where i'm trying to make a million gold doing dungeons only on a war but like any class works because the dungeon is so short so normally with these mobs, the Necrolite mobs, you want to hit the mob if you can with a ranged spell before you arrive to it. Like this one. I always want to hit it with a ranged spell and then it's going to spawn a skeleton, right, to kill it. It's just going to speed up the process a bit. So the next chest that can spawn is inside this hut. You want to make sure that you check all of the huts because they can spawn chests in like every single uh, hut besides from the first one, I believe. Like this one as well. There can be a chest inside this hut. So make sure that you check it out. So we got one chest so far. And then right around the corner here, there's another hut. And there can be a chest inside that one too. And then there's going to be one last hut around this corner. And that one is 100% going to have a chest. 
hundred percent. Unless you're never lucky like me, it's definitely not gonna have a chest. But that hut can have a chest, I promise. So basically, whenever I kill this pack, which is the last pack of mobs, I never dabble around with the boss. You can, because you have the time to do it. It's just very annoying. Like, it summons the boss and, you know, can't be ours. I just kill this pack and then I jump down here on this twine thingy and I run out. Simple as that. So, the dungeon, I mean, this way just leads you directly out. And then once you're out, you can reset the dungeon and you can run back in. Very easy dungeon to do. Uh, but now we're going to talk about the fun stuff now that you know how to run it. And that is obviously what loot can you get. So I always recommend people to download the uh, loot appraiser together with TSM because it's going to notify you like you saw when I ran it. It's going to notify you whenever you get items of uh, any significant value. So uh, you can be sure that you don't vendor anything that could sell for a lot of gold. But some items, and there's a lot of them, that you should keep out for. So we're going to go through the list of uh, like the world drop sets that can drop in the dungeon first. By the way, I'm linking all of these items down below in the description. But the Saltstone set can be farmed in this dungeon. And then you have also the Steadfist set, the Symbolic set, the Tyrant set. Then you also have the Jouster set, but only some pieces of the Jouster tend to sell. And then you have the Ember Silk, specifically the robe that uh, sells very well with the Ember Silk. And uh, then you also have really good, like, world drop blue items and patterns, like the Star Belt pattern, the Comfortable Leather Hat pattern. You have the Seren Golden Blade, the Steel Weapon Chain pattern or plan. You have the Golden Scale Boots, uh, Guardian Belts, and many, many more. So always double check. You also have the Rich Purple, uh, Rich Silk Shirt. Uh, what's it called? Rich purple silk shirt pattern nah, nailed it and then as far as unique item goes you have corpse shrouds you have the storm gale fists you have the manslayer the freezing shard the quill shooter the death's head vestments you have the briar treaders and you have the forecast boots might be more but i think i got them all down uh, and those items can only drop inside of rfd Besides from the mobs directly outside of RFD, that's uh, kind of cool actually. So if you want to really knock out some RFD runs, uh, but the runs are too fast, so you can hit the dungeon lockout. You can go right outside and you can kill these mobs uh, and they share the same loot table as the dungeon. So that's pretty cool. You can kill these guys and they can drop the unique items. Uh, well, pretty much everything they can also drop inside the dungeon. Really badass. So as far as unique items, obviously they can only drop an RFD in the mobs directly outside. However, you can acquire all the other items easily in a five-man group. I tend to mention that in these videos, just in case you want to try to get the items faster. Because it's always going to be faster to get the world drops that can drop in the dungeon uh, in the open world instead with five people. And the best place to obtain these items in the open world... Is going to be down in the cave uh, known as the Admiral's Den or the Saltstone Cave. But uh, I know you guys love solo farms, so RFD is definitely the go-to place to get these items. And that was pretty much it for this video. So um, let me know if you still enjoy these videos. Uh, really appreciate it if you could leave some feedback down below. Uh, I, I do enjoy making them. Uh, I know pretty much all of these dungeons... Uh, by heart like i love these these places definitely do and hopefully there's some new people watching that haven't seen me do the dungeons and i have no clue why i'm farming it so it's actually helpful and uh, yeah that's it make sure to smash the like button because uh it's supposed to help me out uh that's what people say i'm not sure if it's true but hey give it a go and i will see all of you guys back in on tomorrow's video but until then bye bye